Welcome back, everyone. This is Thomas Triple T Tai with another new bullish crypto analysis. Before we dig in and take a look at Bitcoin's daily analysis, remember this is for edutainment only and not to be considered as financial advice. Additionally, when you feel value has been added, feel free to smash the like, ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts and share the analysis with friends and family. Uh, let's dig into the news first and then we'll uh, dive into the uh, our charts. In the news, there's an article on um, the dailyhodl.com uh, where a Senator uh, Ted Cruz to uh, share his perspective on uh, what endangers Bitcoin and the crypto assets the most. I'm not a fan of <laughs> Senator Ted Cruz, <laughs> um, especially when he went on vacation during the, the COVID uh, lockdown, etc., etc. Anyways, not a fan. But anyways, um, I th he's a senator, and so um, he does have some influence. And the fact that he is pro crypto, pro Bitcoin, um, you know, gives um, it gives some influence you know, because he's a politician. Um, hmm, let's see. Let's go through what uh, he said. Um, one of the reasons that um, Bitcoin uh, he's he's bullish on Bitcoin because obviously it's a uh, it's finite amount, twenty one million, and. Uh, Uh, let's see what else here. What he said. Um, he said the uh, <laughs> the single greatest threat to Bitcoin and crypto is Washington politicians screwing it up, and <laughs> I agree with him. <laughs> like Senator uh, Elizabeth Warren, who uh, doesn't seem to know a lot about crypto. She's a smart lady, but um, just you know, there's a, there are a lot of smart people who 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 just don't get it, and uh, they seem to lack certain uh, information, or for some reason they're just against it. But Hey, we're all different. Um, he said that he's part of the problem because he's a politician. <laughs> um, he uh, also says that in um, the uh, one mistake that his colleagues are, are making is actually the spending, um, speeding up the rate of adoption of um, the top crypto assets by market cap because Americans are hurting due to inflation. And so high inflation, there's a theory that high inflation caused people to go to Bitcoin. It hasn't happened yet. <laughs> that theory is still out there. I think eventually it will, but um, it's not. We have historical high inflation and Bitcoin is, um, is still uh, in its correction period. I mentioned that massive spending in Washington is what is fueling the inflation um, that is hurting American people, blah, blah, blah. And one of the things that is uh, fueling the move to Bitcoin, you know, that theory about high inflation, pe people move to Bitcoin. Again, the current market condition in uh, crypto does not support that. So anyways, give it a read on Daily Hodl. Um, I'll provide a link in uh, my Twitter thread. Check that out. An article on utoday.com. Actually, it's not utoday.com. It's u.today. So... Um, they talked about um, mining Bitcoin mining difficulties uh, dropped rapidly and is worrying. Um, and they explained they went on to explain why uh, when there's Bitcoin uh, difficulty, it could um, potentially indicate a um, more downside. But they also cite various reasons why there's upside too. So it's a little bit confusing. So give it a read. Uh, but they're mainly saying that there could, could potentially be some downside. Uh, with the uh, difficulty in mining. So with that, let's jump into uh, the chart and uh, take a look at uh, the crypto market right now. Uh, it's mixed uh, red and, and greens here. Bitcoin, 40.2. Um, dominance at 40.86. Ethereum, around 3K. Dominance, 19.47. Hasn't moved much here. Luna is down uh, at eighty dollars and thirty-one cents. It is down to ninety-four cents, uh, so on and so forth. So it's a mixed bag. Uh, let's take a look at uh, not this one. I don't want to look at that one yet. I want to look at this one. 
So let's take a look at uh, the daily chart on um, TradingView. We have a. Uh, uh, I zoomed out a little bit just so I, I was so zoomed in and it kind of made me lose track of how things have been moving. So I zoomed out a little bit and we are starting back in um, uh, early February, Febu February the, uh, the 5th here. So it's a tiny little candle right now. Um, it's bearish and it's been uh, riding the. Um, ascending support line here and um, so that's a support is holding so it's critical it's been six days of uh, riding that support line and uh, it didn't break above 41k so it's just chopping between that support line which is around right now around 30 39.9 or so and um, and the uh, chopping between that support and resistance at 41k Additionally, I want to uh, point out, um, I put these lines back just to give me a better perspective on the daily because otherwise if we zoom in too much, we get lost in the daily. Um, but this gives us uh, at least, uh, um, what is it, um, two, and a, um, uh, two and a half months worth of uh, information to look at. Notice the uh, ascending channel resistance up here and the ascending channel support down here. Previously, um, in the last month, um, over two months, Bitcoin has been chopping between that ascending uh, channel. When it bounced down here, it rides here for a little bit and then bounced back up. And then drops, rides a little bit, bounced back up. So it's been riding this support line, uh, this ascending support line for six days. And so statistically, there's a high probability that it will bounce up at least to this um, ascending triangle resistance here. So this ascending support line is shared by the ascending triangle. Uh, here's the top of the triangle, uh, ascending triangle, but it's also sharing with the ascending uh, channel as well. So it's a common line here. So I'm not saying it will because there's a lot of macro factors in play right now, um, but there's a probability that it could uh, bounce back up here to ascending triangle resistance here. Um, this would put it roughly around 44.5. And then if it's really bullish, it could bounce up to up here, way up here, and that's past 50. I don't think that's going to happen, but at least to the ascending triangle resistance could happen. If you look back here, it didn't make it all the way up here to this ascending um, channel resistance. It made it to the ascending triangle resistance here. So, and we go back, way back. It did that before here too. Bounce down, bounce up here. And here, both the ascending channel resistance and the ascending triangle resistance intersected. So that's some, something to think about um, just based on stats here. But anything could happen. If it breaks below this, um, this ascending support line, that's extremely bearish, extremely bearish. It hasn't sustained a break below that for t over two um, over two and a half months. So uh, let's see what else. Um, Bollinger Band. It's uh, currently near the bottom of the Bollinger Band. Bottom of the Bollinger Band is 38.2k, which is right here. And the uh, middle basis for the Bollinger Band it's uh, roughly around 43.6k, uh, and it's below the basis. It's also uh, below the 50-day um, moving average, and that's the simple moving average. Um, when um, I mentioned previously multiple times that when Bitcoin drops below the middle basis line of the Bollinger Band, it could remain there for uh, 10 plus days. And I believe it is um, on the 11th day right now. So it's following that pattern. Uh, hmm, what else? Oh yeah, uh, as far as the bull market support band, this gray ribbon here, it's still below that uh, for the eleventh day. So it's it's in its bearish period right now, no doubt. Um, let's go down. Let's go down and look at volume. Uh, as far as um, volume is concerned, it uh, I w when I zoomed out, the high the highest traded volume price level uh, dropped down slightly. So when I zoom out to like early February, before it was right where it's at right now, the price.
but now it dropped down a little bit. So right now price is above the highly traded volume level, which is roughly around uh, 38.6 or so. And uh, for KDJ, the J line of the KDJ at uh, 24 is currently at 24. On average, it's trended um, ascended right here, ascended since April the uh, the 8th. But currently, it's slightly trending up, but like crapping sideways more like it. But it's above the uh, blue K and the uh, red D lines. So that's slightly bullish. But um, if you look at the overall trend, um, it's crapping sideways currently, but oh, bullish in the um, in this short uh, period. For MACD, the way MACD line has uh, continues to be uh, descending, and it's uh, below the red uh, signal line, and it's been uh, descending since Mar March the 30th. Um, but it's with less slope right now, it's uh, currently at uh, negative 779. And it's printing the 12th consecutive less bearish shorter histogram bar. And I give that a bear. The uh, RSI line is at 41. And if you notice, it's mostly chopping sideways here for the last, you know, since um, like early, uh, early um, after the first week of April. It's been slightly down, but chopping sideways mostly. So I gave that um, a, um, a crab and a bear. The blue CVD line, cumulative volume delta, if you notice, it's it's chopping sideways also and slightly down, but it's been down since it hit the top up here back in March, at the end of March. Um, but it's slightly chopping sideways. It descended sharply, but then chopping sideways slightly with a downward trend at uh, currently at 1.812 million. Um, I gave that a crap and a bear also. The... Um, the mom indicated below here, I mentioned previously that once it hits the bottom, there's really nowhere for it to go but up. So it did that. It pumped uh, here uh, sharply, trended up, and um, currently at negative 2,953, I gave that a bull. So when it's got momentum. Momentum's picking up. And so let's combine all these indicators together and see what we, what we see. We have somewhat crabbing sideways intraday here um, with slight bullishness and then we got bearishness here uh, with MACD and these um, the uh, cumulative volume uh, CVD and RSI slightly sideways but trending down slightly so we have a, and then we got um, mom trending up sharply so it's a it's a mixed bag so what I think is going to happen is it's going to continue to crap sideways. It's been doing that with a slight uptrend because it's holding support at the ascending support line here. So it's going to continue to uh, to crap sideways with a hint of um, incline due to the support. And um, but if it breaks below this uh, ascending triangle support, yeah, that's bad. Um, <laughs> I would start accumulating is what I would do. Uh, and I'll, I'll show you some entry levels. Let's go to uh, entry levels here. Oops, we don't want to show everything, do we? We just want only some stuff. There we go. I hit them because it just makes the chart cleaner. So we have um, entry levels here. Let me move this up so you can see it's so cluttered. Ugh, just makes me uncomfortable. Anyways, so here we go. Um, FOMO level 39.6, 5% if you want to do that. Uh, again, this is not financial advice. It's for edutainment only. 39.6, uh, FOMO 5%. I would, uh, if not, add that to 30. Uh, whoa. Strange. That's not right. Thirty nine hundred. So this should be thirty nine hundred. So many lines, so many numbers, just things just get ah too much. 
39.6, that looks about right now. Okay, here we go. So yeah, 39.6, 5% FOMO, 3,900, 5% FOMO, or get the, uh, no, to get the FOMO up here, down to here, if um, you want you want it at 39. Um, 37.5, this used to be, um, my previous entry level was 38. It's just too much, too confusing. So I made it 37.5, 10%, 35, um, 35K, uh, 20%, 32K, 30%, 30K, 25%. And uh, last but not least, 10% at 25K. If this, uh, if these low levels don't hit, you always have dry powder on the side to get more dips. So something to keep in mind. And um, those will be listed in the um, in the uh, Twitter stuff too. So uh, Max Payne, uh, it, for the 17th, 18th, 22nd, and 29th, it will range between 40K and 42K. So... Um, Something to keep in mind. And so let's dig into um, market cap. Market cap for crypto right now is down 0.16%. Um, it's currently at $1.87 trillion. And uh, let's see here. Oh, here are the chart to, to show you the uh, max pain prices. Here's 40, 40, 42, 42. And these are volume and open interest. Volume are um, are uh, what, what do they call them? Contracts, Con contracts that have been um, filled already. So we have um, high volume here on the 17th for open. Th these are uh, options, op options contracts. So we got 17th decent volume, 22nd high volume, 29th about decent average. So you go. So uh, those dates, max pain, uh, when you want to pay attention to that. But when it, where it's really small, just ignore it. On the 22nd, you see here open interest, eh, kind of low. Uh, 29th, it's open interest, it's uh, decent. So 29th and 20, uh, so 29th is a day I would pay attention to. 22nd, volume's high, but open interest is low. 17th, is <laughs> open interest is tiny. So check out some of those dates. And uh, and see, uh, uh, these are the uh, this is the um, the heat map. We got uh, 50k uh, sell wall still up there, 42k sell wall still there. Buy walls on the bottom. I'll go through them. Uh, 39k, 38k, 37.5, 35, 32, 30, 25, and um, and then there's one below at uh, at uh, 20. But look at this. Notice how uh, this uh, cumulative volume delta here is almost maxed out here. That's showing that there's aggressive market buys. Market buys are uh, orders that are just like, you know, fill whatever the market price is. So they're selling right now. I'm sorry, this is selling. Uh, market sells. So these are um, aggressive market sells right now. And, um, and that's different than uh, limit uh, sells. Limit sells are set prior and set at certain targets. And, but these are more like, oh, I want to buy it. I want to sell now, so I'm going to sell now. So this is something to pay attention to. Liquidation levels. Um, it's a, a tiny little red spot here. Uh, it, it was at uh, 45, m negative 45 million. Negative just means it's, uh, it's, it's uh, excess short. It's, you know, it's negligible, so it d doesn't make a big difference here. What this is saying is that here you have short uh, high liquidation levels at 25x to 100x crazy levels don't ever do it uh, these are the longs down here you take the money in the short levels you subtract it from the money in the long levels then you get the difference here so right now they're pretty balanced as far as the money in both so it's not going to sway it either uh, either way but there's a lot of liquidation here liquidation levels here so price could go either way is what i'm saying uh, that takes us back to uh, the beginning. I appreciate your time. Uh, I have at least one more video today. I want to try to get in another one, um, but I, w I won't say what it is. Um, I have um, Solana, so, uh, Saturday Solana left, but there's a third one potentially. Um, so appreciate your time. Feel free to hit that, uh, smash the like, 
ring my bell, hit subscribe if you haven't, and share your thoughts in the comment section below or on Twitter. And then share with your friends and family. Peace. See you in the next video.